the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, look, it reminds me, it reminds me of the his light work that you're doing. Look, here's a good example. I love this story. I, used, I always love this story. And I don't know if you remember, but Naaman, the general that, yeah. that was told to go dip into the to the water seven yeah. times, right? And and, and, and and the guy had to go talk to him and said, look, look you're getting offended. You got offended. You're offended. The man just told you to go ahead and dip in the water seven times. <laughs> Oh, that's too easy. That that that's too easy. And, and you know, I remember the guy said, if he asked you to do so great thing, would you not have done it? Yeah, he'd been mumbling about that. <laughs> but he, he had done it. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> he would do like the Odysseus guy, right? It's a great adventure, but but it's like I know I'm gonna get a reward for my what labor. Yeah. Opposed yeah. to that, this the dipping in the water though. That's not see. What I'm saying it's it's an act, right? Yeah, it it is doing something, but it's a light. Yeah, but there's something behind it. There's something that 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 is is there's something spiritual attached to it. No mm -hmm. different than the rich man. Come I've on, done all these things. Mm. There's one thing that you're like sell all that you have and give it mm. to the poor. Mm, mm, mm. That was an easy thing for him to do. Yeah. But he was like, you asking too much. <laughs> you asking too much of me. He took me get everything I got. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be like them. <laughs> I, I think I think that's the key to it. That's that's what I'm trying to say about that that at least a Hebrew one about laboring into his rest. The fact is he is giving you the rest. He gave you the pro he gave them the promised land. Yeah. He gave you salvation. He gave you healing. You know what I mean? And it's funny, I like it. People don't know, but we don't go through your whole testimony, but it's when you sat there and heard that simple word of saying, tomorrow's not promised. I didn't promise you to borrow. Why you all the things that <laughs> God could have said to me? <laughs> he said to me the very thing that had me sitting there. <laughs> In fear. <laughs> he used that to free me. Yes. Listen, I am so afraid of dying, of, of, of going to sleep and not waking up. And he says, Well, go to sleep <laughs> because yeah. you may not wake up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and for him to say that to me. <laughs> For him to, him to agree, yeah, you know what? You may not. <laughs> you may not. And look. For that word to free me yeah, is amazing. When, when you really, really think about it, the very thing that I was fearful of. Right. God, God confirmed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And peace came. Come on down. And victory came. And hey. authority came, and power, yeah. and the rest. The and rest. The rest came. You see my point? The rest. You entered into his rest. Yeah. Rest and you. Came. And now Man, you're. I'll tell you something. When, 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 <laughs> when the fear of physical existence is before you. Yes, sir. You know, I, I understand. A little, yeah, of the pressure that Christ went through to the point of blood coming from his pores, mm -hmm. sweat. Yep, it did. From having the knowledge mm -hmm. of his physical body ending, yeah, that was his humanity. Yes, that he had to overcome. No different yeah. than me. No, nope. I'm not saying that I'm Christ. No, but by no means. But I understand. Well, you remember that part about the fact is that during the times when his hour was not yet come, yes, he easily walked through. Yeah, 
all that stuff. He laid down, in other words, he said is, what you're asking me to do is to lay down my life. Yeah. Because no man could do it. And, and, no and man then, could take it. He couldn't take it. He couldn't take it. <laughs> he said it. He, he told, you know, he told uh, Pontius Pilate, he said, if, if this was my kingdom, I, I, I have a legion of angels be here right now. Yeah. I, I just need to let you know, uh, I'm not, you're not, you, you're a small thing to me. <laughs> uh, well, he wasn't an issue. <laughs> yeah. No, he wasn't. I mean, he, his, his, his authority was still evident, <laughs> even in the presence of this guy who thought he had authority over him. Yes, he did, didn't he? Pontius Pilate was like, uh, do, you, you, you don't want to talk to me? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> you not know I have the power of power? <laughs> To save you? No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You ain't got no power to save me. It, and that's why, like I said, that's what I'm saying is uh, why this whole theme of this message is in, in the title uh, is being accountable. Did you account? Every last one is accountable unto God. You know, uh, I should put you on the TV speakers so the people around I got my earphones on so I can only hear you. <laughs> they're they're going to hear me. But the point is, the fact is that we're accountable to God and that's why we need to know his will. And I like the testimony you best gave said, enter to his rest. Yeah. You know? And, and and here's the one that I want to throw in here. Uh, why is it important for us to know him? Here's the, uh, that I never knew you once. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and read that yeah, for us. This is a tough one. This, this it is. This is something that I, I've lost, I've, 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 I've sat and marinated and just looked up on this so many times. Uh, I'll, I'll just read it. First. Yeah, read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -mm. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, Come on. many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Come on. And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. <laughs> and then will I profess unto them, That's the issue. I never knew. I never knew you. Uh, I never knew you. Ye that, ye that work iniquity. Exactly. Man, I, 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 I can only imagine the devastation to your existence yeah, yeah. Mm. at that very moment. Yeah. You yeah. Know, uh, uh, you're, you're pleading these people or whoever this was. Pleading, mm -hmm. thought that they had receipts. Yeah, yeah. Their receipts were from the wrong store. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! That's 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 great because, like I said, didn't I do these things in your name? Yeah. I cast out the. I prophesied in your name. I cast out devils in your name. In that name, done many wonderful works. You you did many wonderful works, not for me. Yeah. You, you did it for your your party, you did it for your your flesh, your color, your skin, or whatever. You you did it for you prophesied. Look at the, the news thing, right? The commentators and the and the political pundits, right? We, oh, are we prophesizing in thy name? No, you're not. You do, do you know who you're prophesizing? Who name you're prophesizing in? You knew everything you was doing was not for me, but was for the world. Yeah, and, and then you go in the bottom line. It was not done in love. Nope. Because his will is for love, right? And that's it. I mean, you may have done that, but it wasn't because you loved your neighbor. Mm -mm. No. It was because you were elevating thyself. Can you want to be able to hear this? Just want to hear it if you want to just listen. Cause you'll hear it. You'll hear him. Just hear me. Yeah, if, you you to, you, if you want to, you if you want to, I can put it on the TV. You can hear it. I think you do. Y'all give me a go. Yeah. I, I'll just let y'all know. If y'all want to hear, they, they can't hear. The <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hear, you can. I can put it on speaker. 
Okay, okay. Because it does sound strange, you only hear me. You don't yeah. know what's... I'd be like, ooh, hey, hey, hey. You don't know why. Your eyes are up. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, after I finish my study. All right, okay. Uh, so, 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 but I agree that that's that not knowing him, but we know, but people look, they know their mama. Yeah. They know their daddy. They know their political party. They know like the mob mentality, they know these people. And you know, and we, people, when I said that the theme of this is about you accountable unto God, well, you also accountable to the fact that he needs to know you. And it is going to be a sad thing for you, whoever's listening, that he never knew you. And some of you actually think you're doing this well. In that surprise, it's like some of the people that actually did these, at least they claim, because the Roman Pope told them to do it. Some of the people who done tragedy after tragedy toward your fellow human being you feel and some of you feel even today that you're doing the will of the father and you know you're not doing the will of the father if you hate somebody if you how many people in jail because of a lot how many people how many people been been accused or discriminated over a lie and, and some of you willfully want to take the lie hear the lie do the lie and he's gonna sit there and say, I never knew you. And you're gonna know, you know you're gonna, matter of fact, it ain't gonna be too much talking, is it? Because the fact is, he's looking at your heart. He ain't looking at what you eat. You don't need to lie. You, he ain't gonna give you a chance to lie. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you well, gonna convince, I think you gonna convince yourself. That, that just us system, justice is just us. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. Because it's it's just for us, the us who who look a certain way. Uh huh. That's what just us means. It's designed for a system to keep you designed just for you. For a yeah. certain group of people to mm -hmm. be to be just. <clears throat> but for it's the, not just right um, when from its existence, it shows the discrimination of a certain group of people mm -hmm. you know when when one group of people always get favored come on and another one does not come on <laughs> very i mean that that's why I, I heard a man say you know when you have a system that is 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 broke you know and and a, and a group of people always are treated in an unjust way Mm -hmm. When someone is unjust, gets away with something, the unjust is happy for that person just because it worked for them. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and an example of that was the O.J. Simpson. Exactly. <clears throat> uh, I can't say whether he murdered those people or not, but, you know, the evidence seemed to show that. Right. But the problem is, the unjust people were so unjust that they hindered the process that they normally do and that is for a certain people group of people to be treated in an unjust way yeah yeah and, and yeah and uh because of the wealth mm -hmm. that was that that was had by the person <clears throat> He was able to do what a lot of people who the just us system was set up for do. They, they do, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, amazing that, I'll just go ahead and say this, when, when a person who is kind of gets off. She wants somebody to pick her up. Again. Yeah, I know it. it. You know, the other thing too is that uh, oh, you come back, right? I thought it's amazing that you those people that do those things uh, don't recognize that they still got to be accountable to God. You yeah. see my point? That's the whole. That's the whole point. Is that it's just 
I can do these things and as if God is going to wink at me. You know, he's going to give me permission yeah, friend, to do friend, bad things uh -huh. to my fellow, to his creation. Because that's the other thing too, when, it, when some of y'all like to demonize people in order to justify your behavior toward them, to include rude behavior, to include killing and everything else, you, you, you don't recognize that that is God's creation. It, it, even though you don't like the color of the skin, you don't like where they came from, so you demonize them and they try to do that same thing to Jesus too. Remember that in Christ, when the blind man, they said, that, don't you know he's a sinner? The blind man said, wait, look, whether he's a sinner or not, I don't know. But I do know this, <laughs> and you know this too. Yeah. <laughs> I was once blind, but now I can see. Yeah. And I, I ain't never heard of a sinner open the eyes of a blind man. You call him a sinner, but I ain't never heard that. <laughs> Look, Christ was using his actions to back up his words. And now we got people that actually just basically violate the, the commandments of God by saying, oh, I'm going to do it by simply saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call Brother Addison a subhuman. I'm going to call him that yeah. he's less than me. So now I can do anything I can to him. And oh, even if God says it's not, and I don't think they even listen to that part, right? Somebody's letting them say, don't think about that. Don't think about that. But what we, this message today is, yes, think about that because you're accountable for that. You're gonna, have, you're gonna make a confession to him for what you do. Yeah. Every last one of you. Some of y'all upset, brother. As I'm dirty, right? There's some people upset listening to this because what we're saying is you are accountable to God. I don't care what you think, what you feel, what you look like, how much money you have. You are all accountable to God. And these scriptures right here. Let me throw these up here for you. This is important because I'm trying to figure out where did you? You tell me. Maybe you can help me, brother. As because I don't know where this is coming from. <laughs> Remember we did a show a couple weeks ago. I think I did with you. Look at these commandments here. I left out the top part of the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. And I just dealt with the commandments of dealing with one another as human beings. Right? So in that Exodus is what I want to look at first. What, what, what's okay. going on here? Thou shall not kill. It is... Just like they said, thou shall confess, every tongue shall bow, every knee... Every knee shall uh, bow and th thou shalt confess. He said that you shall give a cut. You remember another part of that scripture, Romans 14 10? You shall give an account unto God. Preachers are not telling you. That's you see what I'm trying to say. Preachers who are not telling you that you don't have to give an account. I don't know if they're either telling you or how to do it. I'm going to leave that out, right? I'm going I'm to I'm subjectively. I'm, a, I'm, I'm so kind of subconsciously saying what I should be saying to you is you are accountable to God, but guess what? I'm just not going to talk about that. Because he says right here, thou shall what? Not kill, not murder. What about the other ones that people see to glance over, gloss over? Go, go ahead, go to what's, what's that? Well, you know, thou shall not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. um, in today's society, that's the norm, yeah. you know, and then you also look at when, when Yeshua came on the scene, he, he, he gave the revelation mm -hmm. behind this, that even if you thought upon. Yep. Where is it in your heart? Yeah. In your yeah. heart. You, mm -hmm. you 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 broke this law. Yeah. You know, these are the people who are. Didn't I do this in your name and name? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Well. Yeah. No, you Say, didn't really. <laughs> and, and, and just that you also know that he also passed down with "Thou shalt not kill." Also goes said, "He who hates his brother, yeah, is a murderer. Yeah. And no murderer has eternal life abiding in him." Yeah. Just one third act. That's that's what I mean. Hate is inside. That's an internal thing, not external. Thou shalt not steal. Well, you there's a whole group of people that got on a boat cruise. You know, they took a they took a cruise, brother Addison. 
they 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 sell what they call this, it yeah they sell it i mean they had a they were treated with all kinds of not <laughs> they were created cruel most some of them died uh oof. can you imagine stacking human beings up as if they don't have any bodily you don't even do that to an animal no no they give animals room they get they eat it and also remember the little thing to put underneath it so they can go ahead and do their defecate you know they can they can do all the, it's, it's a tray or something underneath it uh or they clean it out here you got people the you know peeing and everything else on top of somebody else yeah uh, <laughs> it's just hard to believe it's hard to believe it's, it really it is. Is. I mean, because you got to think, okay, well, they had to store <laughs> enough food and water for all these people. Yeah. And yeah. Then, you know, what What were they feeding? How much water did they give them? You know, uh, they brought them on deck sometimes. Like that cool to kid thing. They, they brought them on deck sometimes. They, they washed them off. Yeah. Sometimes. With, with, with seawater on uh -huh. open sores. Woo. And and they just did that because it was past taking the whole ship up. Yeah, it wasn't. Look, it wasn't for their benefit. It's for theirs. <laughs> it was for those people that was underneath, held down as cargo. Yeah, and then they had to make them move their limbs and stuff, or else they would have. Yeah. Develop atrophy. So they made them they dance, didn't walk, or, or do anything. Mm-hmm. So yeah. It, it it was it was uh. It was, was demonic. Imagine, to imagine it, that. It was, it was out. It was demonic. Let's call it what it was. Just outright demonic. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, what I really get me is the ones that I think, I don't, I don't know if it was you, uh, what we talked about the fact is that guys, some of the lynching, I, that's why I know you feel bad. Because they cut all, how do you feel about cutting somebody, all the fingers off? All the toes off? castrate them, burn them alive, and then hang them. Yeah. And then you talk about, you know, they sell the body parts. And, and these scriptures, the reason I'm saying that everybody, look, look at these scriptures here, just from the Ten Commandments. Yeah. And let alone the fact that they're talking about love the Lord thy God with all that heart, with all that soul. <laughs> he said, I was going to know the God before me, but obviously you, somebody, gave permission that you listened to opposed to him because what did did not steal ever change no. didn't did it it, it didn't how about it was thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor yeah. that didn't change no no number that changed did it, it none of it changed you know and if 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 you just do Matthew 22 through 20 through 37 through 40, uh, yeah, you still fulfill the 10. You do. All of them based on love, ain't it? Everything's based, like you said earlier. Yeah, if, 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 if it's almost, go ahead. You can't, you will do things mm -hmm. automatically yeah. to sustain yourself, to sustain your life, mm. to exist, you will, by default, protect yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you love yourself that much, then your neighbor has to be loved likewise. Because you have to put yourself in your neighbor's shoes. Because it says, love thy neighbor as thyself. As thyself. Right. So your self-preservation mm -hmm. for yourself should extend to your neighbor. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And in fact, I want to do like this. So let's let's go put the elephant in the room again. Who were those people? Count. It's almost as if 
they were not accountable to anybody. They weren't accountable to God. Something, something told them that they were not accountable unto God. To do these, to just validate these. I, Cause I always ask a question and maybe you can answer too a little bit for me or tell me a little bit from your perspective, who gave them authority to bypass the great, the great commandment? Bypass the, uh, Mom, give me that plug up there, please. Yeah. The, uh, violate the, yeah. the, 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 the two great commandments or violate the 10 commandments. Who gave people? Their father did. I'll plug that computer and have it in power plug. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who, who, who giving people the permission today? But I think that's, oh, you better tell me. Like you said. You, you, your father. Where the computer at? <laughs> has you thinking that? Has you yeah. doing And they're like, our father. Well, yeah. Our hey, let me. Abraham. He's like, if me, Abraham was your father, you would not you, you can say that, boss. Hey, let me get this plug right quick. Right back. Right. <laughs> the computer running out of power. Oh, well, we're going to close. Because that's a good one, ain't it? Who gave people the permission to hate? Who gave commission to to? Commit the, the adultery to, to kill, to steal, to bear false witness. Who, what, when did somebody tell me today? Who's giving you permission today? Come on, bro. Please explain that to us while I get this plug. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody has to hear what you guys say. You must got a better answer than I got. <laughs> well, all I got is the word. So it's, uh, it's amazing how we could uh, <clears throat> get caught up into self with desire and self actions and then try and justify it. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. Even today, who is giving people the permission to not do the commandments. See, that's their father. Tell, that's there you, that's you know. the only, only adversary that they could be following because that's what the word says. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. And I, you see what I'm saying? We're trying to get, that's why I say it's an important message. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. Is every last one of us, all of you, what do you, <laughs> it doesn't matter what color of skin you are. Who giving you permission? Do you not know that who you are accountable to? For some reason, some of us think that you're not accountable. Someone has convinced you that you're not accountable to God. And what we're trying to say today, and I know this message is going to go out to some people, and some people going to pass it on. Because I want you to make you, maybe they, hear, maybe they can answer the question, brother Asa, because I can't understand it. Who is giving people permission? to do the things that even Christ told them not to do. If you call yourself a Christian, right? Uh, if you just call yourself a human being, cause even that we even, even our law said thou should not kill, <laughs> right? They, they got a murder with the got convicted. Uh, cause there's no, there's the law, the law, the land of the law does not give you, except for like you said, the justice system, the, 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 the system that allows the unqualified immunity for somebody that have a badge to be able to do something and think they can get away with it because I'm doing it because I'm fear for my life. Yeah. Why would you a police officer if you fear for your life and you got to sit there and shoot somebody? Hey, my, my thing is that excuse is not an excuse. It's not an excuse. You shouldn't be a police officer. It, it comes with the choice that you took. Freedom of choice to accept that job. Mm -hmm. So with the acceptance of that job, your life is subject to be in danger. That's just the knowledge. You would not have a weapon if that wasn't known from the beginning. Exactly.
you know, you would not have the authority to protect yourself if you're if you're being attacked doing the will or or, or 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 protecting the laws it's a, yes okay when you're protecting the laws then you are authorized to use lethal force mm -hmm. but only when you are being if your life is being put in jeopardy exactly so many of these occasions the law is not being broken mm. not by the 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 person being killed the law is broken by the one who's doing the killing and and responsible for enforcing the law and and then they say that their life was put in jeopardy which is a false statement because the evidence is always showing these people don't have a weapon these people were were not uh an authority position to where they could not be handled come on now and the main thing is if someone is fleeing your life is not in jeopardy yeah yeah your life no you know that person no longer a threat and yet you you decided to kill him yeah. or how about the fact that you shoot so many bullets at him how many times you got to kill a person yeah. shoot a person to eliminate the threat it, when did it, that happen to where they went from from subduing a person to killing a person they, that the person has to die yeah i got, tell me, I got to shoot him in the arm shoot him in the uh, leg yeah yeah now that i gotta eliminate the threat it's center mass until you run out of ammo <laughs> right right and 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 then pay the sad thing about it what i guess says for people again and again is who are you you still are accountable to god i i hear what you're saying i know people taught you something but you're still accountable to god you know what i mean that's the center th thread of this subject you're still accountable to god what you're going to do before you go when you go I, could i you know i put out my message last week and uh and somebody put a thumbs down on the video right but they ain't put no comment <laughs> and, and what i read was said give me the comment to it right yeah. what 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 specifically you had an issue with that we can address because i guarantee you there's going some people sit there and say is i don't want you to tell me i'm accountable to god oh well, yeah well, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.